Curtis Legeet has been re-elected as a president and CEO of the National Association of Broadcasters for the next five years, until 2029. Legeet has been with the NAB for more than a decade, having joined the association's ranks in 2011. He became CEO in January 2022, succeeding Gordon Smith. Prior his current role, he spent five years as Executive VP of Government Relations, a key lobbying post at the NAB. Jiyun has announced the availability of the Molus G300 COB Lite, designed for professional filmmakers and photographers. It combines stylish design, innovative technology, and user-friendly features, and debuted at the NAB Show 2024. The Molus G300 has a sleek form factor and wide functionality. It features ease of use, an upgraded control system designed specifically for filmmakers, the Dynavort Mark II cooling system, 500 watts of power, and a peak brightness of 15,500 lux. SDVI has informed that its Rally Access workstation, a fully managed solution for editing in the cloud with Adobe Premiere Pro, picked up two major award wins at the NAB Show 2024. The solution earned an NAB Show 2024 Product of the Year Award in the Cloud Computing and Storage category and a Best of Show Award, presented by TV Tech Magazine. Sony Electronics has added BZ53L 98-inch display to Bravia lineup. The new display combines user-requested minimal glare feature with enhanced picture quality and high brightness. Designed for corporate, education, and retail applications, the BZ53L complements Sony's existing deep black non-glare options. Featuring all the advantages of the lineup, the BZ53L is based on a 4K 120Hz panel and incorporates the XR Triluminos Pro effect, which reproduces a wider and more precise range of colors, as well as 780 nits to support high brightness. Additionally, this display includes a software API function, allowing users to connect their own devices directly to the display. Polyland Technology has unveiled its new Pyro H wireless video transmission system, which premiered at the NAB Show 2024. The system consists of one transmitter and four receivers, offering more flexibility compared to many similar systems of its kind. It provides long-range transmission up to 400 meters in line-of-sight conditions, 0.06-second latency, and operates in the 2.4 and 5 GHz frequency bands. Pyro H is capable of transmitting 4K30 video, facilitates an HDMI loopout, and is convenient for UVC streaming. Additionally, it includes a smart channel scan feature. The Ofcom's latest media literacy research shows the adults more likely to trust human content than AI. It is relevant for those who are aware of AI. They would be more likely to trust an article written by a human than something AI generated. But only around a quarter of adults, 27%, said they felt confident they could spot AI content online. In a controlled environment, most participants in the Qualitative Adults Media Live study were able to distinguish between real and AI-generated content, although many expressed concerns over how realistic the latter looked and doubted that they would be able to spot fakes in the real world. Information has emerged that Google is getting ready to launch a new Chromecast with Google TV. It will retain the 4K resolution of the current $49.99 model and come with a new remote. This launch comes nearly four years after the introduction of the original model and almost two years after the HD follow-up. There are no exact details about the chip implemented in this new model, but one of the options is the M-Logic S905X5 announced last September. It's two generations newer than the chip on the current 4K Chromecast, featuring a more efficient 6 nanometers process and AV1 support, 